What image comes to your mind when you hear the word ugly? Do you think of someone with blisters and scars on their face? Or do you think of a large overweight neckbeard sitting in front of their computer? Regardless of what you think, there is a new type of ugly I'm sure you've never heard before or seen before. A type of ugly only seen in multiplayer video games. Prepare to close your eyelids for you are now about to see the ugliest cheater in Team Fortress 2. It's me, Radic. After I released this video on Radic, going over the terrible things he's done and calling him out for closet cheating, he has since made four new videos on me saying all my evidence is faked and I'm just lying. With all of these accusations being thrown at me and seeing how my first video didn't do nearly as good of a job of exposing him as I would have liked, it only makes sense for me to make another video on Radic going over everything in detail, including even more damning cheating evidence and more instances of him being a terrible human being, since yet again, some people are starting to believe his lies. So this video serves as the final nail in the coffin on this whole case and hopefully after this, I will never have to make another serious video on Radic again. The first thing I want to clarify, and the only thing I got wrong in the entirety of the video, was mistaking aimbot FOV for triggerbot, when in reality, triggerbot doesn't need any circles on screen to determine when to activate. In actuality, triggerbot works like this. Only when the cheetah's crosshair lands on a player, it will shoot. You can configure it if you want body shots or headshots, but more often than not, cheetahs configure triggerbot to only activate for headshot kills when playing a sniper. Everything I said about Triggerbot in the original video still applies, and these swipe movements are a really sketchy sign of Triggerbot, so I'm more than confident in saying that Radic uses Triggerbot, since he's already been caught using other cheats in TF2, so Triggerbot isn't entirely outside the realm of possibilities here. Another thing he does that I think is really funny when it comes to defending himself from Triggerbot accusations is comparing his aim to a legit sniper player like the fuck was that. Quick editor's note, I found out, while making this video, that the fuck was that actually did cheat in TF2, so I can see why Radic tried to compare his aim to the fuck was that since they're both cheaters. If you look at both of them for a second, and compare their aim side by side, it looks entirely different, and his whole argument starts to fall apart. He might go and say, oh this is just another aiming style in TF2, or I just aim like this in game. Yeah, I don't doubt for a second that you aim like a cheater using Triggerbot in game, Especially since I had a TF2 cheat developer look over the footage of you aiming and say it looks suspicious. Now for more clips of him cheating, let's first take a moment to talk about Silent Aimbot. To put it simply, Silent Aimbot is another cheat in game which attempts to master use of Aimbot by hiding an Aimbot flick through the use of sending messages to the game server. There is no way to completely hide illegitimate flicks to anyone other than the user, and especially for hitscan weapons, which Silent Aimbot does not work on. The only exception being projectile weapons, where the flick is completely undetectable, and to outsiders, cheaters running soldier with silent aimbot can look perfectly legit. The most clear way to tell if someone is using silent aimbot is to look at where their projectiles come from. In this clip, where Radic is a soldier, you can clearly see the projectiles shoot from a completely different position than normal, and even in this clip, that was confirmed to be cheats, you can see the same thing occur again. This time, with the cheat software predicting the movement of the enemy and firing in that location, completely disregarding where the rocket is meant to fire. So now that we know Radic uses Silent Aimbot and Triggerbot from those clips, what other cheats does he use? He also uses ESP. ESP is a cheat that pretty much acts as x-ray vision for cheaters in game, allowing them to see enemies through walls to know their precise location. ESP can be pretty hard to prove, especially when some cheaters hide it well, but Radic definitely cannot hide cheats well, considering he's been banned from nearly every community server under the sun and from LGL. So you can expect him to make a mistake like, I don't know, shooting an invisible spy or shooting at the exact position of a scout through the wall. From this clip taken from one of his videos, Radic accidentally shoots a scout player dead on in the heat of the moment. And if you do a bit of math and estimate the location of the scout player at the time of the shot, you can tell that it was exactly in the crosshair. Radic, of course, will pull out any excuse he can to try to defend himself from this clip, but it's simply no use, as it's literally from his channel. And excuses like, Oh, my mouse glitched, make no sense and are just terrible lies. There's also this clip that Radic himself posted in his Discord server of him shooting a spy who's fully invisible and doesn't move. There should be no way he can know what a spy is, but somehow he does, and lands a direct hit on him with a shotgun, 
before following it up with more shots tracking his location perfectly. Radic is a certified closet cheater in TF2, and it's pretty obvious by now after going over all the clips of him cheating, but somehow, he will still figure out some way to wiggle himself out of the damning evidence presented in the video, by saying excuses like, the videos were all faked by someone else, or I'm not actually cheating and this is how I actually play in game. We all know you're a terrible liar, Radic, and this leads us into the next part of the video, his toxicity and how much of a terrible human being he is. I want to dedicate this whole segment talking about Radic's toxic past and providing even more proof to highlight that Radic is a terrible person, despite what he wants to make you believe, and despite how he portrays himself in his videos. There are numerous chat logs from the times when Radic would use alt accounts to attack servers like Black Wonder, and back then, he would drop nearly every slur he could think of onto people he wanted to harass. The reason I notice is because we found Radic's alt accounts and can link the Steam IDs to the banned accounts on websites like SteamHistory.com, and we also have found clips of Radic talking on these accounts while trolling. Fur faggot down. Another fur fag that bites the dust. Oh yeah, faggot frag. More like frag. There's also moments where he blatantly admits to ulting on Black Wonder and talks about his whole process behind ban evading even down to hacking the main site for bans so that he can stay in a server without being detected as an ult. Okay, there's a thing called source bans, or like source sleuth. That's how they ban people on their servers. Just go to your page specifically and then crash it with uh, special, special hacker techniques. And then I get like an hour before it comes back online. In addition, there's many clips out there of him dropping slurs onto people and mocking furries and transgenders. And the only dead person I know that can still talk as a tranny. We're ticking time bombs. One day we're gonna kill ourselves. We just don't know when it's just gonna happen. This was all one to two years ago. And if you want to make the argument that Radic has changed, no, he hasn't. He's still the same toxic troll that he used to be back in 2021. And to prove this, you can watch stuff like the Brattles video on Radic and other clips of him raging, which was all recent. Also, in his now taken down response video, he literally admitted that it was really him who said all those terrible things in the videos. Homophobic slurs. Yeah, I have said some mean things. But this was like a year ago, right? I have said some slurs, but I will admit that. So we have confirmation that Radic really did say the things he did and still hasn't changed in the slightest. Okay. So now that we know Radic is still a sadistic troll, what else is he? He's also a YouTube copyright bully, who likes to abuse the YouTube copyright and report system to silence his critics. He's copyright claimed nearly every single video online that contains clips of him cheating in order to hide from the truth, and he has even attempted to take down my original expose video on him. He's starting to realize his reputation is taking a turn for the worst, so he does damage control the best way he can and tries to remove any and all videos exposing him for who he really is to maintain his image. To further maintain his image, he also likes to fabricate evidence against his critics in an attempt to defame them. Like how he fakes emails sent by me and fakes messages from other people. He really is one of the biggest hypocrites and cowards I've met in the TF2 sphere, and honestly, someone like him who exploits the YouTube copyright system and tries to defame other people shouldn't be tolerated at all. But I think you get the message, and it's time to really dig deep and talk about the skeletons in Radic's closet that still haunt him till this day. Let me introduce you to a past friend of Radic, and the uploader of the video where Radic screams the hard R, Altoids. And for this video, Altoids was kind enough to tell me his experiences with Radic and explain the entire story behind their friendship and the falling out. The whole story itself is really long, and he definitely won't have the patience to listen to the entire thing. So I'll have it included in the description, but here are the most important parts summarized. Radic and Altoids used to be friends who would go out of their way to cause as much chaos in community servers, being as rude and polarizing as possible while using alts. During this time, the infamous quote, Hello, Earth the fucking retard, are you retarded? was made, and Radic would later try to claim that something similar to this was sent to him by Kevin. Apart from saying stuff like the T slur or the F slur to people in servers, Radic would also drop the hard R. Only when his account was disguised to be someone else, this starts to explain why Radic really loved using the N word in both his alt account's name and also in chat. But over time, 
as Radek's mental health would start to degrade and his patience would run out, he began to lose his mind over the most simple things like losing an MG duel or getting killed by a lucky shot, and he would begin to use his friend Altoids as a punching bag to take his anger out on. This is where the infamous Radek rage clip where he screams the hard R would come from, and this was a straw that broke the camel's back in terms of Radek and Altoids friendship. Everything else had been building up to it, and when this video was uploaded to YouTube, Radek would go into full and frenzy, reporting Altoids for cheating on Black Wonder forums and calling him out for being a rage toggler in his Discord server. After hearing all of this, you might be able to tell that Radek is definitely someone who struggles with an undiagnosed mental health disorder and has narcissistic tendencies while being both a pathological liar and manipulator. He's done a lot of terrible things to the TF2 community, but at the end of the day, even though he struggles with mental health, that will never be an excuse for his terrible behavior and all of his lies and pain he's inflicted onto other people. Even if he somehow apologized and owned up to all of his actions, I still think that wouldn't be enough to excuse the damage he's done to all the community servers he's been banned from. In a way, he's similar to Venusian because of the amount of projecting he does onto other people who oppose him and the sheer lengths he goes to defame other people to make himself look better. If he keeps going down this path, things definitely won't turn out well for him, and the cracks in the foundation are definitely starting to show in both his Discord server and drama videos. He's making it harder and harder every day for people to feel bad for him with the grave he's digging himself with each new video he makes, and I genuinely believe he needs to talk to a therapist to sort out his mental health problems. So after I posted my original Radic expose video, Radic decided to make one video reacting to my entire expose and then another one trying to debunk the clip of him screaming the n-word. To save you the time of watching both these videos, I'll tell you, he basically disproved nothing in the entirety of his two nothing burger videos, and I'll be first going over his long reaction video he made, and giving my thoughts for the things he said. His whole response to the video boils down to, nah ah, literally. There's not a single moment in the video where he provides evidence against what I've said, and he even admits to saying homophobic slurs. Just take this in for a second. He is a part of the LGBTQ community, but he said homophobic slurs and other disgusting things to other people. But oh no, screaming the N-word? Now that's where we draw the line. We can't be having that around here. That video's fake and made by a group of people trying to defame me. And also, he blatantly cuts out parts of the story in his videos. I blatantly cut these parts out completely. What, what, where's, the, where's the blatant? Where's the blatant stuff? I can tell you where the blatant cuts are in your video. Take for example your Brattles video, where you do a jump cut to a fake Brattles in your server to give the impression to your viewers that that is really Brattles fighting you. To this day, you'll still go on the record to say that it was really Brattles who joined your server, even after getting confirmation from the man himself that this isn't him. He's done this whole stunt double treatment to basically all of his critics, including me. He gets his friend to impersonate a person he wants to defame, and then splices footage of the real guy talking to give the impression that both the impersonator and actual person are the same. Additionally, he cuts out crucial bits of context from clips like how he conveniently skips over the part where I talk about stunt doubles being used in his video. And he does this because he knows he can't say anything to debunk my claims, so he just jumps to skipping parts of my video to ignore what I have to say. Like, he's just calling me fake without actually showing that I'm fake? Yeah, just like how you're calling me out for being a fraud without providing any proof that I'm a fraud. You really are telling a false narrative in your videos, especially when you inspect element messages of me saying outlandish things to show to your audience. While hiding behind the defense of, I think it's not really him, don't attack him guys, but here's some evidence of him saying some messed up stuff, but I don't know, it could be fake. If you are watching this big boy games, let me know in the comments if this is actually you. Funny that you mentioned that, since you've entirely blocked me and a bunch of other people from your comment section. So even if I tried to go into your comments and prove that it wasn't me who posted that email, it wouldn't work. And also, here is the original email that you posted in your own Discord server that you later edited to put in your video to further try to incriminate me. On a second video where he supposedly proves his innocence by claiming that the person screaming the hard R wasn't him, it's yet again another demonstration of Radic being an unreliable narrator and making up evidence in order to preserve his reputation. The Steam account he features in the video named Talad Durden isn't an alt for Kemi, 
And to prove this, the Steam history dates of when this name was changed to Shredder do not match up to the date of the original Freakout video being released. And on top of that, Akemi and Radix sound nothing like each other. Why does people send me pictures of a bridge and they say I'm a pedophile and a bridge is older than me? So yeah, it is kind of drama farm-ish, but like, not all of them- Furthermore, he doubles down on his claim in another video that supposedly proves that I'm an evil fraud that wishes him nothing but pain, and my friend Kevin is making up everything to defame Radic, where the only proof he shows is an obviously Inspect Elmerton private video from 10 months ago with some zoomed in footage of the TF2 chat where an account named Kevin says some evil villain things in chat. That's all the proof that Radic provides us and he still expects us to believe his weird fanfiction story of the whole world being out there to ruin his reputation. Conveniently enough, Radic cannot even provide the link to the private video to prove its existence or even show proof of the video being from Kevin, so for that reason, we can completely dismiss this video as reliable evidence. Radic never wants to take accountability for his actions, so to do that, he blames everything onto other people and makes up this weird narrative of an evil group of people that hate Radic, who make up false evidence of him doing bad things. When in reality, this is far from the truth, and no one is out here making up evidence of Radic. He is the one in actuality that is fabricating information, and to say that he projects is an understatement. He's like a mirror at this point with the amount of times he's projected his feelings onto other people like Kevin and myself. With the amount of people coming out of the woodwork to tell me their stories of Radic, it's safe to say that he's become public enemy number one in the TF2 community, seeing as he wants to continue going down this dark path of milking drama and making up lies. Everyone at this rate will lose respect for him, and even his own audience will turn on him. Radic is both a chronic liar, criminal, and closet cheater in TF2. This is the reason I call him Venusian 2.0, since he exhibits many similarities to Venusian, and this just inspired me to make my first callout video on him. While I was making this video, Radic posted a third response going over most of the allegations, but considering the fact that he literally has no sources for any of his claims, and we know that Radic is a pathological liar, we can take almost everything he says with a grain of salt. For the ban part, these are literally all automatic anti-cheat bans, and you can tell since it literally says right there. This is why there isn't any admin listed in the ban, since it was by a server plugin. And even if it was by an admin, why would them resigning or being fired matter? You were still banned for cheating, and all of your alt accounts were manually banned since you were ban evading after cheating on your main account. I don't really have to explain too much why the Mud Reaper account is him, as the IPs are linked together, and server side plugins like Source Sleuth, which are designed to stop ban evading, picked up on this account and connected it to Radic's original main account, thus proving that Mud Reaper is Radic. The part where he brings up the name tag plugin to explain him shooting an invisible spy is just flat out wrong, as I later confirmed in the exact same server with another person. The time it takes for the name tag to pop up is way longer than he makes it out to be in the video, which definitely seems to be edited. After he tried to sympathize with me in his original, now taken down callout video, he has now resorted to criticizing my character, since he knows I'm obviously not going to back down from any of my claims, like I should, since all of them are true and backed up with evidence. He claims that I'm sending people out to harass him and post hateful messages to him, but he has zero proof to claim that. You can't just show a couple of pictures of a few people saying some mean things to you and somehow claim that I'm out here instructing these people to attack you. He also doxes someone here, but wait, here's his supposed proof to confirm that I'm associated with the supposed group of people attacking him. A single comment I left on the diss track against Pengu that I found funny. Yeah, that definitely means I'm Jacob Dicker's best friend and that I endorse everything in the song. Obviously I'm being sarcastic and this whole segment on proving that I'm evil is really just grasping at straws and he really has no grounds to speak when I know and he knows that he was and still is a troll who actively goes out of his way to attack people call them vile insults, and tries to weaponize his audience against his critics like in a server that he uses to collect and fabricate evidence of people who he doesn't like to use against them. Now it's time to address Radix's fourth video on me, this time finally using some actual evidence to say I used a stolen credit card. I can confirm that yes, I did try to use a card, and looking back, I shouldn't have done that, but otherwise, everything else he has to say against me is just a stretch. Like saying that I'm friends with scammers just because I interacted with a criminal 
and then claiming that me and the other people in the server create an account to spam CP links in chat. Which is just a really wild thing to accuse someone of without any concrete evidence to do so. His so-called nuclear bomb on me is nothing more than a few petty things. Like telling someone what they should write in an email to Radic and being in a group where people have edgy humor. Can this honestly even be considered a slam dunk like he keeps pretending it is? When the evidence of me being a so-called evil person doesn't even outweigh the terrible things that Radic himself has done over the years. Another funny thing in his response, beside the random montage of Discord messages and the weird fixation on the you're very mature for your age gif, is the fact that he calls Poker out for being a horrible cheater and racist, despite all the messages shown in the video being from years ago. So I guess when we dig up all the chat logs of Radic being homophobic and racist, that's Twitter behavior, but when he does it, oh that's perfectly fine. All the terrible messages from Poker were from 2021 to 2020, and she's grown to become a better person, but Radic on the other hand, he's quite literally a walking contradiction when it comes to these things, and I refuse to believe this man is 23 when he still acts mentally younger than me with this whole, it's okay if I do it, but not when you do it, thinking approach when calling out people. As for any future responses he's going to make, I truly doubt I'm even gonna bother responding to anything he says, since I want to move on from this whole petty drama. Radic already knows how much of a dent I've made to his reputation by exposing him, so you can expect him to do more of what he's been doing. Faking evidence, grasping at straws, and just lying. But all of that doesn't matter, and this drama will only last for as long as Radic wants it to. If there's anything I've missed from his response videos, it's because I didn't feel the need to have to explain anything, since the video is already long enough as is, but I'm free to answer any questions in DMs or the comments section. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video, and I really appreciate the overwhelming amount of support received from the last video. We crushed Radic in terms of subscribers, and right now, we're on the path to hit 4k. So subscribe right now, so we can hit 4k in early September. If you want even more context, and want to know what I said in my previous video about Radic, you can click the video on screen. And as always, have a good one.